And we're back uh, with more conversations right here on the Breakfast and Plus TV Africa first major conversation. Uh, President Buhari, you might have heard already by now, has conferred national awards on 447 Nigerians, including the Director General of the World Trade Organization and former Finance Minister, Dr. Ngozi Okunjewala, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabia Mila, uh, Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, those who were awarded uh, the honor of a Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger uh, GCON. Arokonje Wiala, uh, Justice Ulukayo De Ariwola, the uh, Minister, the Honorable, um, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, and Honorable Justice Ibrahim Tanko Mohammed, um, who was there before him uh, the, as a former Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJN. Uh, the Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations, Ms. Amina J. Mohammed, also received that award, and renowned diplomat, uh, Prof. Tijani Mohammed Bande also received a GCON. Fantastic news. Um, I think one of the um, presidential candidates made a point that, uh, you know, you had two women getting the GCON. Uh, Nigerians with the honor of a commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, CFR, are uh, Femi Bajabiamila, Deputy Senate President, Ovi Omoagege, uh, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, uh, Dr. Fola Shade Yemi Eshan, we have um, former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Yakubu Dogara, Justice Kudirat M. Kekere Ekun, we have Justice Musa uh, Datijo Mohammed, uh, Justice Monica uh, Bol Naan, and uh, Dongan Mansem. I'm sure some of the names may be quite uh, new to some people watching or listening this morning. Now, prominent among our Ds of the commander of the order of the Niger, that's the CUN, is the Delta State Governor and Vice Presidential Candidate of the People's Democratic Party, uh, Ifai Arthur Okoa. We have uh, some state governors like Nasir El Rufai of Kaduna State, Professor Babagana Zulum of Borno State uh, as being recipients. And this is quite long, we don't have time to read everything out. But the entertainment scene was not left out, the likes of um, Two Face Edibia. Tenny, uh, the entertainer, and uh, Burner Boy receiving awards as well. I don't know and what Ezra. I, yes, as well. Yes, indeed. Um, uh, oh, we can't forget uh, uh, Moa Budu of Ebony Life. She also received an award as well. There's several names. We can't go. We don't have time to go into the entire list. But um, what we have time for is a discussion on the importance and significance of Nigeria's national honors and an analysis of this um, event that held uh, yesterday. I'm glad to say uh, we have uh, joining us uh, this morning to, um, you know, do justice to this topic, Achike Chul, who is a political analyst. Uh, uh, Chul, thanks for joining us. It's great to have you again on the program. Yeah, yeah, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. All right. For, for, for some who are wondering, um, what are, what's the significance of, of the national awards? Um, it's been holding for several years now under several presidents, and every every now and then the president gets to give these out. Well, um, I, I think, um, you know, uh, concerning the national honors on uh, deserving Nigerians, uh, it's not, it's not um, anything new. Uh, it's what is happening world over. And there's a basis for that, really, because the essence of um, commending people uh, for having worked to, uh, for the progress of uh, society is to encourage other people to also do the same. Um, so we, we have it in so many ways. I mean, it doesn't have to be national awards. Organizations, families, you know, uh, reward the members of uh, the same family who have done exceptionally well. They celebrate birthdays. Uh, societies also give them um, awards at the local government level, you know, village level, uh, for people who have been uh, outstanding because their contributions or what they have done have helped in uplifting people and making life generally for people. So at the national level, it is, you know, a wonderful thing. But I think that, you know, the problem is, um, uh, is uh, the value, the kind of value, you know, a government attaches uh, to such things. Uh, the kind of people, and that is dependent on the kind of people that uh, the government uh, gives these awards to. If uh, the awards are given to the right kind of people, then it sends the right kind of message to citizens. 
But if it is given to the wrong set of people, then obviously you are sending a wrong message or the wrong message to the rest of society. And that is why it has to be, it is something, you know, that should be done with, um, uh, you, you know, to ensure that um, the right message is sent. And that means that uh, everybody, anybody that is going to be awarded or given uh, this award must be somebody that is upstanding, outstanding, and uh, somebody that uh, is worthy of emulation. Uh, yeah, you, you know, so one has to be careful to get it right. It's not just to, to give awards for the purpose of giving awards. Uh, you, you, you know, uh, anytime these awards have to be given, uh, you are making a statement about the values of uh, the government, about the values of the nation state. You, you know, and uh, but again, if I if if uh, I hope I do not, I'm not preempting you, but if you look at uh, what we have been doing over the years, virtually every award. Uh, of uh, these honors has been shrouded in controversy, one form of controversy or the other. And that is ultimate because essentially, I mean, if uh, the wrong set of people are not uh, being awarded or being recognized, then you realize that um, uh, there's something with our data, you know, and uh, our way of uh, keeping records because sometimes you have dead people, you know, who are being given awards. The government is not even aware that the people that they are giving awards are, are, have passed. You know, or that uh, some of these awards have been already have already been given to the same people they are now conferring the same awards to. So some of these embarrassments have characterized even of awards in the past. But most importantly is the, uh, the quality of people you are giving these awards to, and that is where uh, Nigerians tend to have issues with. Well, so uh, as you have rightly mentioned. Uh Every other time, it, it, it gets in with a lot of controversy. And this year is actually not different because there's been several criticism by some civil society groups and other Nigerians. And mostly people say that this uh, you have um, a lot of persons who are politicians and political aides at the expense of many Nigerians who are deserving uh, and who has, who've actually made you know difference in political and critical spaces outside of the headline. So I'd like you to, you know, describe this award. Do you think that that's the case? Is it, you know, a list of uh, favor or a list of merit? No, I, 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 I think there is more of um, the political consideration in the giving of these awards. Um, this is what has characterized most awards in the country. And that gives you an idea of the nature and character of the government that we have had the nature and character of the people that straddle the corridors of uh, government in Nigeria. Um, you, you, for instance, you want to look at uh, uh, such awards, and you don't. You want to look at, you want to see people like um, uh, um, uh, Barrister Femi Falano, for instance, a critic of government. You want to see, as at the time he was alive, you want to see people like... Uh, this call is now being you recorded. Know, you know, people like uh, Ganefa Wemi, you know, uh, the late Chimo Bani. Uh, these are radicals. These are people that have been um, against government and government policies. But the, 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 the general public recognizes that these are people that have been more meaningful in their contribution to the growth and development of this country, more than, much more than the politicians that have been honored because of their loyalty to the government of the day. Because that is what it's all about. This is about a reward, you know, to people who have been loyal to the government. People who have supported government, regardless of uh, the you know the merits or the demerits of government, you know over the years, uh, you know so that tells you that there is something wrong with the list. For instance, if you want to even do a breakdown of even this list, you see a lot of politicians, the Senate uh, president, and then the the uh, Speaker of uh, the House of Representatives. These are politicians. What essentially have they done really that is outstanding, that is different from what their predecessors had done? Uh, you know, because there's always this tendency to reward them. You, you, you know, you have a Senate that right now and the National Assembly right now, that is there is not even up to scratch in terms of what its predecessor, the National Assembly, had done, you know, over the years. You know, I'm not saying that even those ones, you know, performed, you know, with sterling qualities. But you can see a National Assembly that has been catawing to the dictates of uh, the, the, the executive for the past seven years. And so you see their leadership being uh, uh Chike Chure, are you there, please? Can you hear us? Okay, uh, we seem to have uh, lost the contact with uh, Chike Chure, whose um, uh, sterling analysis has been quite enthralling. We hope to get him back. 
um, so we can continue that. I was really enjoying where he was coming from. And, exactly. Uh, yes, yeah, so quite interesting. I mean, from what we see, uh, the, the GCFR is customary conferred on former heads of state. Um, the GCON title is um, also conferred on vice president and former vice presidents. You have also the president of the Senate and uh, the chief justice of the Federation also receiving that GCON title. Um, but um, recipients of GCON also, I mean, the, the pecs that come with this, you know, it's not just uh, on paper. Yeah, pecs are committed. But um, I, I, I was interested in uh, knowing, okay, if the vice presidents, the former Senate president, etc., uh, chief justices are the ones that get GCON, uh, how come we have um, the likes of Okonjo Weala um, and Amina Mohamed also, Baba, uh, Tijani Mohamed Bande getting uh, this award? Tijani Mohamed Bande is Nigeria's permanent representative to the United Nations. Uh, Amina Mohammed is the Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations. Um, uh, one I've had the pleasure of meeting an interviewing fantastic woman. And of course, uh, Ngozi Konjewela needs no introduction. You know, she needs no introduction. So um, it, it probably means that the GCON uh, a title, which is the Grand, Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger, is not uh, an exclusive preserve of the uh, Vice Presidents, uh, former Vice Presidents, and the Chief Justices of Nigeria. But do we have a, a, a Chike Chude back on the line, please? Yes, I'm back on the line. Yes. All right. All right. Yes. It, it, you know, so, so like I was saying, there, there are some, there are some, uh, you know, good things. I mean, uh, some of the people that have been awarded, I mean, we have no choice than to rejoice with them because these are people that are, we all know, the general society would acknowledge without uh, much uh, disputation that they have done well. Somebody like Okonjo Wala uh, is somebody whose uh, influence transcends the uh, shores of uh, this country and has brought a lot of merits to the country. And uh, then, of course, entertainment is uh, something that uh, we have been expo you know, exporting you know, out of uh, this country, whether it's Nollywood, whether it's our musicians, it's our artists, you know, they have done exceedingly well. So uh, the award on Bonaboy and uh, his colleagues, I mean, is exceedingly well received. Uh, you, you know, but you, you, they, and and a few others. But you now have, and like I said, I have issues with the politicians. I do not think uh, most of these politicians, if any of them, they actually deserves any commendation, uh, because they have been taking care of themselves and feathering their nests from the resources of this country over a period of time. And then, then you look at uh, a contentious and controversial uh, uh, name on that list, and that is uh, the former Chief Justice of uh, uh, the Federation uh, of the Supreme Court. Uh, that is um, uh, Tanko. He left in a dust of controversy, very major controversy, because for the very first time, you know, all the judges of the Supreme Court did a petition against the chief justice, you know, uh, their chief justice. It's unprecedented. I have not seen in any part of the world where it happens, you know, and uh, as a result of the pressure, I, I think the man resigned under that cloud of corruption. How would you go ahead and give a few months after that happened? And the matter, and, and people were calling for, for him to be investigated by the anti-corruption agencies. And then the president puts him among, you know, the list of uh, people who deserve this national, you know, honors. So these and this, not, not just this case, and other cases as well as others in the past. This is what we have always said. So this is like a committee of, uh, of members of a club. You know, honoring their own. Sometimes that is the impression you have with yeah. a few, with a sprinkling of a few people, you know, within uh, the uh, the uh, 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 the corporate sector in the country that have actually done well in the country. And then, you know, so this is exactly what has been going on. And uh, I think I think most of the politicians that are on that list they should not uh, be should be discarded. The yeah. government <laughs> of Delta State and most of these okay. other people. Okay, you, you don't think the government of Delta State, state should be there? The should, should be, before we come to the politicians, um, staying with. Tanko Mohammed, whether he left in a cloud of dust or not, I mean it's 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 uh, it's it's well documented. But some would argue that um, uh, you know whether he left in a cloud of dust or not, that it is a statutory conferment on the Chief Justice of Nigeria to receive such an honor. You know, so it is his his uh, his uh, his, uh, his entitlement. No, 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 no. I, I do not think so. You are talking about a merit a merit award. You are saying so. What you are saying. You know, is that these people are deserving. These people have served this country meritoriously. You know, these people have served, have have left their offices in with with impeccable and indelible records. Uh, you, you, you know, this is the basis. So, are you saying that? I mean, if somebody commits murder, but simply because the office, you know, he occupies is so is so high, 
that that office is deserving of, of, of an award that regardless of what the man has done, when you give him an award, it's not the award you are giving the man, but actually it's the office that, that you are giving that award. So this is, is this does well, not make sense. But but you, 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 sorry to interrupt you, but, but, but should, um, if, if, if someone was maybe president, for instance, or maybe uh, vice president, and he committed murder, he, he, it, would, it would mean that he would have been convicted by a court of competent jurisdiction and probably received a sentence, you know, whichever way, or a fine. Um, but but it could be argued that Tanko Mohammed has not you know faced any panel uh, or been tried by any panel or be found by any investigation. No uh, committee was set up. No no court had convicted him. So we have nothing to hold on to to deny no, him. No, you see, when what you other want chief to err, you see, when you really. want to err, you err yes. on the side of caution. When it becomes a matter of public interest, it is like the discussion, the entire discussion about the former minister of I mean sorry, the minister of communication, you know, and the digital economy. Uh, Patami, the issue about his linkages with uh, terrorism and all that, and all the stories in the past, even though the man had said he had repented. Because, but because the issue is such a very sensitive issue that has security implications for this country, when the, the government has to uh, let it air on the part of caution, that is exactly what I'm saying. Because we've had this is not this is a pattern. The former minister, I mean, uh, 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 EFCC uh, chairman Magu uh, was, was, was indicted by the uh, Abdul Salami uh, panel that was set up at, uh, you know, by the federal government. He was indicted, and uh, a few months after that, he was uh, promoted uh, within the Nigerian uh, you know, uh, police force. So what message are you uh, sending? What are you trying to say about your, about your views as a government on corruption? So these are the things. So it, 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 that's what the government should have done. They shouldn't give us stories. I, I, I mean, there were there are impending allegations of corruption against him, whether it has been proven or not. The normal thing in any crime, any any reasonable crime, is that when there is serious egregious accusation against you, what you do is that you step aside and allow the the authorities to actually do the investigation and exonerate you or not, you know, or indict you. That is oh, what happens. But in Nigeria, we want to err on the part of uh, the people, you know, who are supposed, who are, um, uh, you, you know, are accused of uh, having committed crimes. Well, Chud, let, let, let's move on uh, quickly. So, surprises now. W were you really surprised that, you know, the likes of uh, former Senate President Bukola Saraki uh, did not make, you know, that particular list? Well, well, well it, the people who have made the, 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 the list, the, say the present Senate president, is no different from uh, Bukola Saraki. They occupy the same office, if that's what we're saying. But Bukola, Bukola Saraki happens to be uh, somebody in the opposition. You know, so, and that is not to say that uh, when somebody in the opposition has not done well, you should also not uh, give, give uh, that person whatever he or she deserves. You know, but... Uh, 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 well, uh, perhaps another government can come in tomorrow and they also recognize uh, Saraki. But like I said, I'm not enamored by the fact that uh, politicians, you know, whose role in this country have been inglorious and they, to a large extent injurious. And I'm not saying that we have proven cases against them. You know, but there is this general feeling that uh, the politicians have not done too well in this country and that this National Assembly has cut out so much to the dictates of the executive in as much as when, for as long as the executive, exec, the executive, you know, was airing in uh, so many ways, the National Assembly they failed to call them to order. So perhaps this is a reward for the leadership of National Assembly. Mm. But uh, just quickly, before Kofi comes in now, uh, the likes of Victor Moses, if we look at his story and his antecedent, uh, especially when we have that conflict in Kaduna that led to, you know, the sacrifice that his parent uh, had contributed and then of course he found himself on asylum outside of the country and then was adopted uh, to a family eventually you know was discovered as a great talent and then he played for uh, the, the team at the time then at some point he had to choose and then he chose to play for Nigeria the Super Eagles don't you think that he should have actually you know, been considered. He's one, one among so many Nigerians that have done, you know, um, very commendable or have acted, you know, in a very uh, proud way for the country. Look, you know, this, this, uh, this um, award, <laughs> you know, is, is, I think is being given by people who do not understand what merit means, who do not understand, you know, what uh, the nation state means. 
uh, you know, occasionally, yes, you have a sprinkling of uh, people who have actually done well for this country. You know, main captains of industries and people, I mean, who are people who have set up, you know, uh, conglomerates and employed people, gave employment to Nigerians and all that. Then, like I said, the entertainment industry, uh, you, you talked about uh, Victor Moses and so on. Of course, obviously, there are so many people that uh, are deserving of these awards that are not getting it. And I'm not saying that there is any way you can compensate every single Nigerian that is deserving of these awards. What you just do is that you have a representative sample you know, of uh, Nigerians, uh, you know, and that, so what you have is a representative of the Nigerians in gen general. You have people, you know, captains of industry, you have politicians, you have entertainment people, you have sportsmen and, and all that. So all of these are supposed to be a general representation of the rest of Nigeria. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you know, and so you should be able to pick the best from all of these people, people without, blood, without stigma. Uh, you know, and I'm not sure that this award that has been granted to a lot of Nigerians, you know, has actually passed that test of having people who largely, you know, have been above state, largely, I mean, visibly been, been above. We are not saying that anybody is perfect, but when you are operating in the public terrain, you have to be sure, you know, of uh, the people that you are actually bringing forward uh, for national uh, awards. And, uh, and I'm not sure I'm very much impressed uh, with all of this, just like not just this one, even the ones that we have had in the past, every single one of them has had some level of controversy or the other anyway. Um, uh, some distinguished uh, uh, Nigerians, uh, 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 Chike Churi, some, some distinguished Nigerians like um, uh, the late Professor Chinua Achebe and uh, Chief uh, Sisi Ono have in the past, you know, rejected their national awards. Um, in your mind, is there any any reason why any of these awardees should have rejected this the award? So, in my mind, the award. Any reason why any of the awardees in this current class should have rejected no, the no, award? It, 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 it depends. It, I, I think it's um, don't also forget that we had a controversy over uh, the posthumous award that was uh, granted. Uh, you know, uh, um, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, the, the former uh, uh, Ghani Fawemi, uh, you know, and people were telling the children, you know, because of the role he played in Nigeria and how he was harassed by the governments of the day. Uh, they were telling the children, the family, to reject it. But the family had their reasons for accepting it. For Chino Achebe, I think he was, he hinged his reject, rejection on the fact that, um, on the fact of the crisis that was going on in the Southeast and the extrajudicial killings by the federal government against the people of, you know, of, uh, you know people of uh, the Southeast. And he said that for as long as, you know, his region is immersed in crisis, uh, you know, that there is no way he would accept an award from a government that is perpetrating, you know, the crisis in that place. And so uh, for CCO, you know, there's always a reason, but and they have always given reason for that, you know, and that is not to say that when things change, and there's such awards are still on the table that they will not accept them or their families so, might not so, so, accept should, them. Should, should, should. You know, so, but sorry, I think sir. it is yeah. on the basis of is, isn't there reason? some of them either accept or yeah. reject. Yeah, should, should. sorry to, 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 because of time, I just need to ask this follow-up question. Uh, I mean, some could point to the fact that, um, you know, on the 20th of October 2020, uh, certain Nigerians, uh, young Nigerians were, were massacred, as, uh, you, know, you know, revealed by the panel investigating judicial panel inquiry set up by Lagos State Government at the Lekki toll gate in, 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 in Lekki, Lagos, Nigeria. Maybe that could be a reason to, you know, say, make a political statement and say, uh, for that massacre, we're not taking these awards. You have to get to the bottom of this and let's uh, see who was behind this, maybe. Well, you know, you know people, people have different uh, views about uh, different things. You know, and so there are those people who really felt very bad and very angry about what happened at Lekki and wanted, you know, uh, uh, the matter that, you know, the authorities to get to the bottom of the matter. Of course, some people will tell you that the authorities have gotten to the bottom of the matter. Lagos State government has brought out, um, you know, its report, you know, uh, the federal government, some other state governments and the rest. But what people, are, you know, are, are seeing is a cover-up you know, by the various governments as well as the federal government to what happened, you know, at the Lekki toll gate. You know, but for a lot of people who are not too political, uh, they might just see it as one of those things that happen in the life of a, in the life of a country. Uh, you know, and then it doesn't really 
cut so much ice with them. It doesn't really, it's not anything of a major significance. But for every serious Nigerian, what happened at that place is of major significance. You know, because it was, you know, it showed uh, the, the capacity of the state, you know, for mischief, you know, of a very dark kind, if I will use that expression. You know, and so it's a legitimate question. I mean, if you say, look, I, I question this award because, you know, that's being given by a government that was responsible for what happened at Lekki Toge. But like I said, it's a matter of opinion. There are some people that will feel comfortable and that might not feel, uh, you know, very angry or disturbed about what happened at the Lekki Toge. I think it's about people's uh, general understanding okay. and the people's uh, general temperament. Okay. Okay, uh, a very interesting um, um, analysis by you, uh, Chikechul. I want to thank you very much. We want to thank you very much for your time. And uh, hopefully we will be back next year to analyze this uh, again. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. All right. All right. Um, we'll have a, a further discussion in a very few um, moments or minutes from now, uh, talking about a very important subject after this break. Please stay with us.